Hey there, this is Honey, and I want to take a few minutes to show you how quick and easy it is to set up a blog using blogger.com. Google owns Blogger, so if you have a Gmail account, you'll use that account login information and sign in to Blogger. If you don't have a Gmail account, click on Create a Blog, and a Google account will be created for you. You can use any email address you have as long as it already exists. And you'll fill in this form, enter a password. Your display name is going to be the name that will show up at the end of your post. Fill in the captcha, accept the terms of service, and click on continue. Your Google account will be created, and then you'll be able to log in to Blogger. Once you log in, you can begin immediately creating your blog. The first thing you'll need to do is title it and I encourage you to be sure that you have your primary keyword in your blog title. Because Google owns Blogger, it gets spidered very frequently. So you want to be sure to use your keywords wisely in here. So I've given my blog a title, and I've put the blog address that I want to use in the URL box, and then I clicked on Check Availability. So we're checking to see if this one is going to be available or not and it tells us that it is available so now we'll just complete the captcha and click on continue the next step is to choose a template they have a number of templates you can choose from you can see what one looks like before you actually choose it and it will pop up in another window for you so you can decide if that's one that you want to use or not if you decide to use it you just tick the radio bu uh, button there and click on continue and your blog's been created. You're ready now to start blogging. I should mention before we move on to the next step, the advanced setup option. If you click on that, you're able to have your own custom domain name hosted on Blogger's free hosting. If you click on that, it will take you to another page that will explain how to go about getting your custom domain. For now, we're just going to stay with .blogspot for our URL but we're ready to start blogging. When you click on the Start Blogging button, it will bring you to the posting page. Be sure that you are on the Compose tab. It'll make it a lot easier for you. And this works just like any other little HTML editor. And you can simply begin typing. But for this example, I'm going to put some content in there that I previously prepared. Now once your content's in there, you can add a video to this post. Uh, we're going to add an image. You just browse from your computer and choose the layout that you want. I'm going to put it to the left and then click on Upload Image. Once it's finished, you'll get a notice saying that it's been added and you just click Done and there's your picture to the left of the content. You can create links within your content. If I wanted to use this keyword phrase, for instance, and make it a hyperlink to another site, you just highlight it and click on the little link icon right here and insert the URL that you want it to go to. Once you filled in the address, you just click OK and there's your hyperlink. You also want to be sure that you have a title for your post and try to include one of your keywords in the title. And right down here at the bottom, you can also include some labels for the post. And that would be other keywords, maybe secondary keywords, words that people could use to look for post on this particular topic. So in this case, we'll put South Padre Real Estate, separate it with a comma. Let's put Coast Homes for Sale, and we'll leave it like that for now. The other option that you have over here under Post Options, if you click that, you can either allow or not allow reader comments, and we'll, we'll leave comments for now. And then you can save it, or you can publish it. And if you want to preview it before you publish it, you click the little preview button up here and that will show you what it will look like. You click hide preview, it takes you back to the HTML editor. So we're going to go ahead and publish this post and then take a look at it. It will tell you that it's published successfully and you click on view post or you can edit the post you just made or you can click to create another post. But let's see what we just did. And there's the blog. Now if you're not happy with the way that it looks I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily change the template. And I don't like the way that it has done the text down the side like this. So I'm going to go back in and adjust that as well. And you can edit this post by clicking on the little pencil icon right there. 
what I'm going to do first is to click on the picture and come in, down here to the corner and left click and drag and make it smaller. And let's see if that helps. We'll publish that again. Okay, that looks much better. I'm much happier with that. Now I want to point out a couple of things. This little share it gadget is something I put on this blog. It doesn't come on your blog, but there are a number of gadgets that you can add either to the sidebar or up at the top or down in the footer. If we go back and go to layout, Blogger allows you to add gadgets. Here's up at the top. These are the ones down the side. These are the ones at the footer. And you just click on add a gadget and it brings up a new window with all the different gadgets that you can add to your blog. If you have an opt-in box you want to put on there or something else that requires HTML, you add this one. You can add an additional text gadget or AdSense. You can add a picture, a slideshow, a video bar. There's a whole list of things you can add in several different categories. That's just the basics. You can also look through featured and the most popular and even more gadgets. And let me show you how easy it is to put one on your blog. Okay, so I found an email subscription box that I'm going to add to the sidebar. And all you do is click on the plus sign. You can edit the title if you like and then click on save. And it has added that to the sidebar. So we'll save it there and go and view the blog. Now if after looking at it you've added something that you really don't want, it's an easy fix. Your preview opens in a separate tab, so just close it and go back to the layout. Click on the gadget that you want to either edit or get rid of and either edit it or click remove and it will take it off your blog. So you can have a lot of fun playing with adding various gadgets. There's all kinds of games you can add to keep your readers on your page longer. Just take a look at all of them and see what you can do with them. Now while you're on this page, you can customize your theme by changing the colors or you can pick an entirely different template. And if you do, you save your template and it's instantaneously changed for you. Now the last tab I want to show you is the monetize tab where you can put AdSense on your blog and you have options of where these ads will be displayed. You can choose to display them just below your posts or just in your sidebar or in the sidebar and in the post and that's the recommended so that's what we'll go with and we'll click on next and now AdSense is enabled and here you can see where the AdSense blocks have been put in the sidebar and below the blog post. And if you want to edit that for any reason, you click on the little tools icon right here and you can change the colors and customize them to better fit your particular template. You can also switch it to a different AdSense account if you want. And you just make the changes you want and then click on save. If you decide you don't like where, the way that looks, you simply click remove and it will take it off of your page. And that's it. Blogger has a lot of functionality, you can have a lot of fun with it, and it doesn't take but just a few minutes to create. So have fun with it, and thanks so much for watching.